Then you'll need reinforcements. Oh, Bailey, hold him. I've got him, Master Richard. For ten years, the Wars of the Roses raged as the princes of York and Lancaster fought for the throne of England. By 1461, the whole countryside had been turned into a battleground. And even a peaceful remote village like Tunstall Hamlet was not safe from the hand of war. Your lord and master, Sir Daniel Brackley, commands that Appleyard the archer and Bennett Hatch bailiff bring 20 able-bodied men to the Sun Inn at Ketley and... Drop it. Take him away. Ellis Duckworth. That's right, Bailiff. Tell your master that Appleyard's murdering days are over. And that number two on our list is Sir Daniel Brackley. You wouldn't dare. Richard Shelton, Brackley is your worst enemy. Leave him while you can. What do you mean? All right, lad. Ask him how your good father died. I won't listen to vagabonds from the forest. Who are you, anyway? Who are we? Ha, I'll tell you who we are, Master Richard. We are the Brotherhood of the Black Arrow. That's who we are. Scoundrel, or have you thrown in the moat? But, my lord, it, it is the truth. I, I, I... What do you know about the Black Arrow Brotherhood? But, my lord, I... Well, they're desperate men. They say you've stolen their land. They've banded together against you. They want justice. Is that so? What do you think, Sir Oliver? It's outrageous. They're thieves and traitors to their lord. Now, listen to me. These outlaws... Richard Shelton, my lord, and your bailiff with the men from Tunstall Hamlet. Oh. Block up this old rogue. I'll deal with him later. Richard! My lord? Welcome to Ketley. It's not quite as comfortable as Tunstall Moat House, but in times of war, one can't be choosy, huh? Eh? Um, where's Appleyard? We were attacked in the village by a band of men from the forest. They captured him. What? They called themselves the Brotherhood of the Black Arrow. Their leader is a man called Ellis Duckworth. These are bad times, Richard. My best man taken. Those cursed Yorkists beating us in the fight. And now in my own county, plagued by these outlaws. <laughs> Landlord, a meal for my guests. Master Shelton and young <laughs> John Sedley here. I'd rather starve to death than eat any of your offerings. You, you don't speak to your guardian like that. <laughs> Come, Sir Oliver. We'll inspect the new troops and let this hot head cool down a little, huh? <laughs> my lord. Thank you. Do you know the way to Holywood Abbey? Yes, but why do you Please, want... Please, Richard, just tell me. Go past the windmill, then follow the old Roman road through the swamps. Yes. That will take you to the ferry on the River Till. Bennett Hatch, take these men and join Earl Risingham's army. I'll follow immediately. Yes, my lord. Now two armies will fight under the banner of Lancaster. Together we'll throw the Yorkists into the sea. For King Henry and the Red Rose of Lancaster. The House of Lancaster! Oh, 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 Lancaster! Oh,
as it turns out that there's more profit in the White Rose of York, why then we'll just change sides. Hey, Sir Oliver? <laughs> One plucks the rose that is fairest. Aye. <laughs> Sedley! Where's Sedley? Sedley! Sedley! Come back! Richard! Hurry! Follow him, Oliver. Send six crossbowmen after him. Sedley's worth a thousand pounds to me. Round the saddle. Oh, Richard, if you hadn't come, I, I would have. Easy, easy. Now, promise me, no more running away. But, Richard, I must get away. Oh, will you help me? Enough of this nonsense now. Come back to Ketley with me. Come on. No! Don't you understand? When my parents died, Sir Daniel took my estates and my money, everything. He even... He's your guardian. He's entitled to manage your affairs. He's my guardian too, you know. But he only regards me as his property. He's even decided who I should marry. He's always treated me well. That's the bowman. Come to fetch. Oh, Richard, don't give me up. I must go to Holywood Abbey. Wait a few minutes, then make for the Till River Ferry. What about the soldiers? They'll be gone by the time we get there. We'll have to be careful. The woods across the river are swarming with the Black Arrow Brotherhood. And over there, near the Abbey Highway, Brissingham and Sir Daniel's armies will meet the Yorkists. Oh, Richard, what will we do? Calm down. Let's get to the river first. One danger at a time, eh? All right. Come on. I don't know what to think anymore, Master Richard. First it's York, then Lancaster. Who are we fighting for? That's what I want to know. That's an easy question to answer, Master Ferryman. You fight for your natural lord. And your natural lord is Sir Daniel Brackley. Let him worry about the roses, be they red or white. There's someone over there. Aye, so there should be. I just brought over six of Sir Daniel's bowmen. Run! No! Hold! Stop! We have visitors. They have the look of Brackley's scoundrels. What say we give them a welcome they won't forget? Aye! Yeah. Yeah. I will do that! <laughs> Bill Lawless, Green Chief. Aye. Yes? You stay back at Grimston and prepare us a big meal. We'll be back soon, hungry as wolves. Right, Ellis. Good hunting. Aye! We'll go hunt Brackley's deer!
Daniel and Earl Risingham's armies, winning glory for Lancaster. And here am I, hiding like a rabbit in a hole. Oh, oh. life is good in the old green wood where a man can be so free. So welcome, lad, to our brotherhood and the trusty company. <laughs> well, Lawless, you have the worst voice in all England. <laughs> just trying to cheer up these old ruins, green sheep. Just trying to cheer up the old ruins. You know, old Simon Malmesbury built Grimstone. <laughs> Must have been a great castle once. Ah, it was. Before Brackley burned it down. That was about the time he had Sir Harry Shelton killed. Took his estates too, they say. Mm. And young Richard Shelton doesn't even know about it. Poor lad. Well, what do you think of your fine guardian now? Will, green sheets. Guests for supper. Uh, some guests who invited them. They came. <laughs> They came uninvited, Will. Probably by the smell of your cooking. <laughs> Retreat! Fly! You'll never get to Hollywood Abbey tonight. Risingham's army is running home, and there are Yorkists everywhere. What will we do? We can stay in the forest, or we can go back to Tunstall Moat House. But that's Brackley's own castle. I've got a good thing. He'll probably never come home again. His army's defeated and on the run. worry about? <coughs> easy, Richard. Easy. What? How do you know my name? I should. I'm your guardian. Sir Daniel. Yes, lad. And thank you for bringing back my young hothead. You've done well. But you don't understand. I, I thought... You're probably wondering about my disguise. Well, you see, our army was scattered and I had to run. This was the only way I could get through to safety. Not a very dignified outfit, I must admit, but effective. Eh, John? My lord, I... No more talk. These woods are dangerous. If we hurry, we can be safely at Tunstall Moat House before dawn. Hurry now. of a friend. Your life is in danger. You know too much for your own health. Get away from this house. I don't know who you are, but I'm not leaving without young Sedley. And I want the truth about my father. Carter, you served under my father. Aye, oh, sir, I did. Fifteen years with old Sir Harry Shelton. Then you must know how he died. No, no, Master Richard, no. I'm sorry, sir, I can't talk on sentry duty. enough of this. Nobody will tell me about my father, and I'm beginning to suspect that you and Sir Daniel had a hand in... Go on, Master Richard. Do go on. You were saying. Well, 
Sir Daniel, I... Man the walls! Come, Sir Oliver. We'll talk about this later. What's going on? Over there, my lord. About a dozen of them, dressed in green. One of them shot an arrow through the hall window. Then they, they just disappeared. The Brotherhood of the Black Arrow. The scoundrels won't risk a full-scale attack here. We're safe enough. But, my lord, if the Yorkist army come this way, these walls won't hold them. Bailiff, I want all available men on the walls today. As many as you can get. See to it. And Sir Oliver, arrange for young Shelton to sleep in the chapel bedroom. Ah, the haunted room. <laughs> Very dangerous in there, they say. Very dangerous. <laughs> uh, haunted, you say? Aye, Master Richard. Men have entered that door and never been seen again. I'll be all right, but thanks for the warning. By the way, where's young Sedley, the boy who came in with us last night? I don't know, sir. You could ask Sir Daniel. I will. I'll store these in the armory, sir. No. With the enemy at the gates and ghosts inside, I just might need them. Very well, sir. I wonder I couldn't find you. Johanna! Johanna Sedley! Give yourself up, Johanna! They're looking for Joanna, said... Come here. Now, what's all this... I'm sorry, Richard. I'm Joanna Sedley. Sir Daniel forced me to dress as a boy so that nobody would know who I was. Why didn't you tell me before? I thought you'd take me straight back to him. I thought... Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Richard! Open the door! We know you want to sit in there with you. Come on! I don't trust you. If you want us, you'll have to come and get us. Uh, 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 all right. I will. Uh, uh, break it down. ways into this room. There must be a way out. Parts of this wall are hollow. There's a secret passage here somewhere. They've stopped. Shh. It's a false alarm. I'll be back in five minutes. Oh, Richard, hurry! this room and follow me. You're trapped and you can't use a sword in here. Not with that girl near you. Keep back, Bennett. Listen, Master Richard. I've got no quarrel with you. I even tried to warn you earlier. Was that you at the door? Aye, Richard. 
I served your father, old Sir Harry, and I don't want any harm to come to his son. That's my men. They'll be here in a minute. Now, if I were to look the other way, while you twist that ring on the wall, If I can cut the ropes, we might get across. Richard! Take him alive, if you can. Shilton, what a surprise. Green Chief, a new recruit for the Brotherhood. Oh, the lad's done for. Help him. Nasty wound, too. Let's get him to Grimstone. Ellis wants this one safe and sound. Sir Daniel Brackley. Sir, I have evidence that you were responsible for my father's death. I shall revenge him. Not if I catch Brackley first. I hereby renounce any allegiance to you and the House of Lancaster and swear loyalty to Richard, Duke of Gloucester of the House of York. Richard Shelton, Squire. I don't know why you bother with politics. Brackley, the Duke of Gloucester, they're all the same. Don't you care what happens to this country? Of course I do. Look around you. Homes burned down, men hounded off their land, murder, robbery. I'm trying to stop it. That's why I'm here. Our lads caught this messenger sneaking out of the moat house. Hmm. From Sir Daniel Brackley to Richard of Gloucester. Aha! What did I tell you? Wanting a secret meeting with the Prince of the House of York. A traitor. I'll keep this. It might be useful. Alex, what shall we do with this lad? He can take my letter to Brackley. And you can tell him that if any harm comes to Joanna Sedley, I'll... Oh. You won't be doing anything, Richard. At least for some time. 
We'll attempt to. As the Wars of the Roses continued, the tide turned against the House of York, and manners crumbled under the onslaught of the Lancasters. Edgley Moor, Wakefield, Neville's Cross, Hexham, Stamford Bridge, till at last the House of Lancaster seemed certain of final victory. Richard Shelton, intent on revenging his father, sets out on his mission. Oak House is empty, Master Richard. Brackley left weeks ago, took everyone with him. Why? He's an important man now, that's why. Him and Earl Risingham beating the Orcus like they did. He's too grand for the old Moat House. But where's he gone? He was last seen in Shoreby. Over on the coast? Aye. He's mostly in Shoreby when he's not with Earl Risingham at the castle. Shoreby? Hmm. Brackley's coming to town tonight. He'll be meeting Lord Shawby on some business matter. Right. I'll be there to meet him. You'll need help. He always has a strong guard with him. I'll manage. Ellis can muster 50 men for you. No. This time, I think I might do better by myself. I assure you, Lord Shawby, she'll be an excellent match for you. I won't marry her unless she's suitable. She must be a lady of the highest quality. Oh, she is that. And more important, her estates are worth 30,000 pounds a year. Excellent, excellent. But I don't like going out in the dark like this. Nobody's safe anymore. And it's cold, too. I hate the cold. But why do you keep her locked up here in Shawby? I'm sure Earl Risingham would be delighted to have her as a guest. It's not healthy here in this sea air. In these troubled times, she's safer hidden from the public eye. And besides, threats have been made by certain outlaws. Outlaws? Oh, nobody's safe anymore. When I was a lad, there were no outlaws. These are bad times indeed. Good evening, Mistress Risingham. I hope you've been taking good care of my ward. Hello, Shawby. Mistress said me. Joanna, come and meet your future husband. Oh, you did say 30,000 pounds a year. Indeed, Lord Shawby. Hmm. An interesting proposition, I must admit. It's settled, then. The marriage will take place exactly one week from now, in Earl Risingham's chapel. No! No, 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 I won't! Richard won't let it happen! Calm yourself, my dear. There is nothing that outlaw can do about it now. Absolutely nothing. And the house is well guarded. You'll be safe there. No one can climb Risingham's walls. Oh! Oh, Alicia! Oh, what will I do? <laughs> Ellis has promised you 50 men from the Brotherhood. They'll be here in two days. That's too late. The wedding is tomorrow. Besides, what could 50 do against hundreds? Aye, they've doubled the guards, too. 
The Yorkists are gathering an army against them, and Risingham's worried. Not as worried as I am. If only I could get through. Look, he's not having any trouble getting in. But he's from the monastery. Master Richard, I just remembered something. This has been my home ever since Brackley threw me off my own land. Yeah, here it is. I hope it fits you. And while Brother Richard sets out for the church, I'll find Ellis Duckworth. The wedding will be in the chapel right next to the wall. We just might be able to help you. Good luck, Brother. Earl Risingham meets the happy couple. Alicia. Yes, Father. Show Mr. Sedley to our rooms in the East Wing. Well, Shorby, you'll certainly pick a fine time for getting married. Uh, how, my lord? Well, haven't you heard? The Yorkists are on the move again. An army led by Richard of Gloucester is heading this way. Richard Crookback? Coming this way with an army. Yes, but don't be alarmed. He's a long way off yet. <laughs> Why? Why are they coming here? He's found our weakest spot. He knows we're under strength. Someone has been giving the Yorkist secret information about us. And when I catch him... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Only official wedding guests through these gates. You understand? Yes, my lord. Pass, brother. Thank you, my son. And check all strangers. The Yorkists have spies everywhere. Stand fast! You! Uh, my good man, I I'm looking for the guest room in the East Wing. Hey. Oh, that way, brother. Bless you. Thank heavens I've found you. I'm flattered, sir. But I believe I've never seen you before. Madam, I... I... You see, I... You're not a monk. You know what I think? I think you're one of the enemy. I think you're a Yorkist spy. Madam, my name is Richard Shelton, and... I know, and beware, sir. I've heard plenty about you from someone who is in this very room right now. Joanna! Oh, Richard, you've come. But now we're both trapped in this place. What are we going to do? I don't know. I just don't know. There's someone coming. I mustn't be found. No, Richard, don't go. I'll hide in the chapel. That way, quickly. I'll try to think of some way of getting you out of here.
Take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife. I do. And do you, Joanna Sedley, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? No! Shelton! No! Wait! Ah, help! Help! If this wedding goes on, the next arrows won't miss. Ah, don't shoot! Look at all these innocent people. You might hurt them. You're right, Shorty. This is your lucky day, Brackley. Villain! Guard! Where are the guards? Seize them! There will always be a black arrow waiting for you, Brackley. We'll finish this business later. This is an outrage. What's going on? Who were those men? My lord. Oh, take that woman away. I won't marry her. But Lord Shorby. Too dangerous. Oh, my life's worth more than mere money. Sir Oliver, return the girl to the tower. This is your doing, Sheldon. I'll deal with you this instant. Take him away! Father, don't let them. He's done nothing. Please don't let them take him. This outlaw is mine to deal with, and I intend to do just that. Sir Daniel, I am master here. You may take Mistress Sedley back, but I will question the boy myself. And that's my story, sir. And you admit being an outlaw and a Yorkist spy. I am a Yorkist, sir, and your enemy. But I am not a spy. Someone has been passing information to the enemy. And that someone could be you. My lord, I have a letter here which might explain a few things. It's from Sir Daniel to the Yorkist General. Uh, Richard of Gloucester. Offers to help the Yorkists in return for the estates of Lord Rizzi. My estates? This is treason. Yes, my lord. He's a traitor. Yet I need his support. I'll confront him after we've defeated the Yorkists. This information has saved your life. You are free. But we will meet again soon enough in battle. The Yorkist army, they're here. Last. I'll join them at once. They'll probably attack Shoreby Town, where Brackley is hiding Joanna. Will you bring the Black Arrow Brotherhood? No, Richard. We won't take sides in this war. But if you defeat those Lancastrians, Brackley will run like a rat back to the moat house. Through these woods? Yes. And I swear he'll never come through here alive. Lord of Gloucester. Who are you? Richard Shelton, Master of Tunstall. Who are you for? York or Lancaster? I fight for York, my lord. Good. Do you know the town of Shoreby? Every street and lane. Very well. Come to my headquarters this afternoon. The main force is here, in the center of the town. This side is only lightly guarded. So, if we come across this open plain and attack here and here, we should be in the town before they know what's happened. Splendid. This snowstorm will give us cover. The surprise will be complete. Yes, my lord. And Shelton, I haven't forgotten Brackley. If we succeed tomorrow, your estates will be returned. And I promise you will be well rewarded.
the girl who was kept prisoner here. Oh. She's gone. Where? Where have they taken her? Eh? Oh, uh, Sir Daniel and Sir Oliver took her. He said something about a, a moat. The moat house? Will you marry me? Yes. Yes. Richard, Chorby is ours, thanks to you. The House of Lancaster is defeated. You are now lawful master of your own estate. Kneel. My lord. By the power invested in me, I, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, dub thee Knight of the Realm. Arise, Sir Richard. The Wars of the Roses aren't over yet. I have much to do. So goodbye, and thank you. Goodbye! 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 goodbye. Congratulations, Sir Richard, and welcome back. Signed, The Brotherhood of the Black Arrow. Richard of Gloucester led the House of York to victory over the Lancastrians and later became Richard III, King of England. Mm -hmm.